The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People was written by Stephen Covey and it's the first book about success I ever picked up. It was written about 30 years ago, but it's still a book held in extremely high regard by businessmen, influencers, and me as well. In this video, we will continue to habit number two of the How to Become Successful series. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, I suggest you pause this and watch that first. All right, let's get started. It's incredibly easy to get caught up in an activity trap. In the busyness of life to work harder and harder at climbing the ladder of success only to discover it's leaning against the wrong wall. Habit 2 suggests that in everything we do we should begin with the end in mind. That way we can make sure that the steps we are taking are in the right direction. But before we as individuals or organizations can start setting and achieving goals we must be able to identify our values. This process may involve some re-scripting. And re-scripting, Covey explains, is recognizing ineffective scripts that have been written for you and changing those scripts by proactively writing new ones that are built on your own values. At the same time, it's also important to identify our center. For instance, you might be family-centered. When your security is founded on family acceptance and fulfilling family expectations. Or you might be more money-centered when your personal worth is determined by your net worth. You could even be pleasure centered when you make decisions based on what will give you the most pleasure. Our centers affect us fundamentally. They determine our daily decisions, actions and motivations, as well as our interpretation of events. However, Covey notes that none of these centers are optimal and that instead we should strive to be principle centered. This is timeless and will give us the guidance that we need to align our behaviors with our beliefs and values. Hey, are you liking this video? Then please consider leaving a like or a comment. It's free and it really does help grow the channel so that I can make even better videos for you guys. Thanks. Now to put habit two into practice, here's two challenges that you should do. Challenge number one, visualize your own funeral in rich detail. Who is there and what are they saying about you, about how you lived your life and what would you want them to say? This might be a powerful tool for some perspective. And you might find out that some of these answers will give you different values that you already have. Challenge number two, break down different roles in your life. Whether professional, personal or community, list three goals what you want to achieve for each. It's simple but effective. By doing this you will reaffirm what your main focus should be and you might find out that some of the things you are doing now aren't exactly helping towards one of these goals. I hope you learned something new. Stay tuned for Habits 3 through 7 for the coming weeks where we continue the series. I hope you enjoyed this video. Animation videos like these take me such a long time to create, so please consider leaving a like or a comment. When you subscribe to my channel, you will receive the most valuable ideas that I read out of books from trusted authors right on your subscription page every week. Oh, and if you don't want to miss a video, don't forget to click on that bell. These videos are meant as an overview and as an introduction to the topic, so if you want to learn more things and really get into the details, go to Audible using my link in the description for two free audio books with a free trial. In the description you will also find my recommended books and the best material investments I have bought over the years. Thank you for watching and see you next week.